Hi, I'm John Turmel, the engineer, Metapod engineer, and I'm here at the Treating Yourself Expo in Toronto at the Convention Center on July 16th to the 18th. This is the 18th. And I have with me James Turner. And James Turner was busted back in 2006, was it? Yep. Cultivation, possession, all the usual charges. Filed his motion to prohibit the charges, according to Polkoa, because the law was dead. And it's funny, he lost his first appeal, his first uh, application record motion. And then when he filed his notice of appeal, Crown Attorney managed to switch his case into the inmate appeals in Kingston instead of the normal appeals in Toronto. So anyway, we're, he's wrote back to the court several times saying, I don't want to go to Kingston. I'm not an inmate. I want to go to Toronto. And they kept saying, no, no, you got to go to Kingston. You got to go to Kingston. So anyway, he didn't go to Kingston. And they threw out his appeal. And right on the appeal, it says inmate appeal. And it says, why? Because the inmate did not appear. So anyway, the point is, when was the last time, you know, they got rid of charges or something because the guards couldn't find the inmates? Well, that's what the Court of Appeal did for James. And James then appealed to the Supreme Court of Canada, and unfortunately they said no. And uh, not important enough that they shunted him through the appeal route when he's not an inmate. So, and that's back at the bottom now again. So, James, did you manage to have a lot of fun up there with your pool? How do your judges take it while you're waiting for the last four years? Well, it's... I'm not a chance to speak. Yeah. Oh, louder, louder, louder. Let's get closer. Okay. Speak louder. Okay. So they haven't given you a chance to speak? No, no. It's missed it all the way. Oh, that's true. I guess now that I think about it, the first guy you got to speak to, the prohibition motion. Right. No. Yeah, it was thrown out. Well, it was yes, well, you are. Summarily. Summarily. I didn't even get that. What? To argue. Oh, no. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was summarily. Summarily. Oh, wow. And then, uh, then I peeled up and the bottle. So, in other words, James Turner never got to explain his case once. Oh, I wanted to. <laughs> On the way to the Supreme Court of Canada, he never got to explain his case once. And, and I filed. Oh, that's true. Put in yeah, there's a you can apply to reconsider the case at the Supreme Court of Canada once they've denied your motion. We did that too. Maximum resistance, and now he's back at the bottom, starting over four years later. And and he has now got a doctor to sign an exemption, so we can tell the Crown that he's going to get a medical exemption, in which case they may want to withdraw. Or we cannot tell the Crown that he's also going to get a medical exemption, in which case he continues his attack until the Crown, until he finally, you know, wastes their time. Then he tells him he's got an exemption. So, so it's a, it's a kind of working out all right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was, not, been, not, not hurting me it was pretty depressing four years ago, right? After oh, yeah. the bus. Yeah, yeah. Before you started fighting back. Exactly. Has it felt good fighting back? Yeah, yeah. Therapeutic, it is. maybe? It is. Cathartic? When, when, when you know you're right about something, you should. And you see them backing down That's right. and doing weird stuff, like stick them in inmate court. What's oh, yeah. going on? And he gets to argue, I'm not an inmate, I don't want to go. And they still make him go. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, those adventures are all archived at MedPot Discuss, and uh, I'm sure he's got a few more adventures in him before he ends up going to the uh, his case, his, his actual trial, if he gets there. Now, obviously, if he gets his exemption, he can tell the Crown at any time, in which case then he claims the Francisco precedent. How come you gave Francisco everything back and dropped the charges when he proved medical, and I just did too? So four years on the fight, maybe a one or two more, but at least you know you're going to have end up with an exemption, yeah. and life will be okay. Oh yeah, except the Any final comments to the people about your process about running through the system? Should they be scared? Will the judges a lot, bite a lot you? Of people are no, no, no. They, at this point, you should be scared. But at the beginning, it is a scary. Yeah, okay. to get started. Yes. But really so after a while, you get you know, uh, 
after all this time, So if you fight back for four years, they're not going to make it harder for you to settle later. No, no. that's right. Which, which was you would expect it even easier a little bit. A lawyer, my lawyer, uh, put this when he first went off. Because people are going to make it harder. Well, they have made it harder for years. Because of the same amount of Yeah, why should you, Francisco got off, why not you? Yeah, yeah, follow in the footsteps, maximum resistance. Well, it was a pleasure, James Turner, to have you fight all the way. A man who made it all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada. That's literary. Parker did, I did, he did, and uh, Real did, and Pierre Drouin did. So that's only five or six of us who've made it all the way to the top. And but now, but now, well, yeah, now, of course, because it's, it's starting to work out. Yeah, exactly. yeah, not many are going to make it to the top now. No, so some big's going to happen. I think so. Yeah, I think yeah, so. yeah. Okay, James Turner, pleasure having you yeah. on the team. Thanks a lot.